Hi, Hiram here. The other day I saw a cool video that Wall Hiker did called DIY Backpacking Ultralight Gravity Fed Water Filter. I'll put the link down in the text area. In this video he showed how he uses an Aquamira Frontier Filter like this to uh, make a gravity fed water filter. I like these, they're handy. I put them in my emergency kits or keep them in the car, places like that. But I personally, I just use this for emergency type stuff. What I like to use is the Frontier Pro uh, water filter. This one. I've showed you this before. Now I have a little kit that I use along with this that I can make into a gravity fed type filter situation. In his kit, he used a platypus bag and the filter. In mine, this is my normal water kit, just like this, along with either a small bottle like this or a liter bottle. In my kit, I have the Frontier Pro, the straw that goes with it, several water purification tablets, because they say that these don't clean out everything and that even after you treat the water with this it sounds like you should still use some sort of tablets or something. I haven't used this yet. This thing has not let me get sick yet. Normally along the trail this is made so that this fits right on water bottles or soda bottles. So I can fill this up with water. I have Oh, I don't have it in this one. I have a little piece of that uh, white material from the the uh, bio filters. I just hold it over the top of this when I submerge it into water so that it strains out the uh, the big debris. But then you put it on this and now I've got a bottle where I can just suck the water out of this through this bite valve. Now this works alright for just drinking water but if I needed water for cooking or I wanted to uh, fill up other water containers I can turn this into a gravity fed water filter too. I just take off the bite valve easier said than done. There we go. Bite valve just slides off. Have it like this. What I use is some other components that I carry in this bag. Oh, this bag with everything in it that I showed you here, this, this, and all this, weighs 103 grams or 3.63 ounces. What I use, <clears throat> two rubber bands, a, I don't know what you'd call this, a shopping bag from Barnes & Noble. They give them to you when the, you get your books here. This stuff is pretty darn strong but I don't trust this for putting water in, in it for drinking. What I like to use are oven bags. These things are pretty cool, they're clean, uh, they're food grade, so you can put water in them. Now they're fairly strong, but I like to put this inside this bag to let this bag take all the strain of the weight. The other thing I need is the top a bottle like this. You just cut it off. Then you got a piece like this. Take the lid off. So what I do from here is I take my oven bag, find out which is the top and which is the bottom. There we go. This is the bottom. Find the center of it, which is right about there. So now just open it up, bring the lid in, down to the bottom, see if it's about in the middle, yep, right about there. So just pull the bag over it, take the rubber band and just put it across the bag right in that groove at the bottom of the uh, spout there. 
just like that. So now, this is what the bag looks like. I put that in the middle. Eh, close enough. Now this goes inside this. What you have to do is just take this bag, cut a small notch, just like so. Stick this bag inside. Come on. Work with me here. There you go. Hang on. Maybe I didn't cut this. There we go. So now I have the oven bag inside this bag with the spout hanging out. All you got to do from here is poke a hole in the plastic. Now it's the plastic is still held on and sealed with the rubber bands at the bottom. Put this on, just like that, tighten it down, and well, you can't see it all here, but now I've got a gravity fed water bag. Now what I'll do now is fill this up, take it outside onto a rack, and we can see how it drains out. I'll be right back. Okay, and there's the water bag hanging. It's not a real fast flow but it comes out I don't know, can you see that there? A little windy out here so that's my water bag add-on I thank you for watching I look forward to your input, questions, remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.